one hand drill, one rubber mallet, three small and three long stretchers, one or two back slats, 12 large screws, four small screws, and one squeeze bottle of glue. All right guys, I'm here to show you how to put together your shape horse chair. So the first thing you need to do is distinguish which side is the left and which side is the right. Um, that is pretty, pretty easily done just by looking at the channel that's in the top of the legs. Um, that is where the back slat is going to fit into. Um, so the, the channel should be facing the inside. So this one is the left, this one is the right. Um, you're gonna take the right side, set down the left side for now, um, and you're gonna take your squeeze bottle, um, and you're just going to put a, a dab of glue into each hole. Um, should be about the size of a small pea. <coughs> So once you've got glue in all six holes, um, you're gonna wanna take your stretchers and fit them into the holes. Now, this is easy, uh, but you'll notice there's three longer stretchers uh, as well as three, three shorter stretchers. So the long stretchers go in the front of the chair and that is the shorter leg. So we're gonna just put those upright in these holes um, and just give them one or two full turns. Um, I'm doing a clockwise turn whatever works for you. Uh, but that's just so that the glue coats around the end of the stretcher. Um, and then we'll do the same thing for the back stretchers right here. Give those a nice 360. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little squeeze bottle again, and we're just gonna run a very fine line of, of glue inside the channel that is going to house the back slot. All right guys, so you'll notice that there's a label on each of the back slats. This one has an S, which stands for stool. This one has a B, which stands for the bottom chair slat. And this one has a T, which stands for the top chair slat. Now each of the letters also have an arrow next to them. That just indicates what side of the slat should be facing up when it's in the chair. You'll notice there's a slight angle here, and that just makes it so that they fit more snugly into the legs. So the arrow always has to be facing up towards the sky. These as well are just some faint lines to kind of give you an idea of where the slat is within the chair. Um, so as soon as the line meets the outside of the leg, you know that the slat is all the way inside of the hole. So the next thing we're gonna do is just put glue inside of each of the three uh, holes in the back and front um, of the left side of our chair or stool. And don't forget the slot on the other side as well as the holes. All right, so as soon as that's done, um, you're gonna take the left side of your chair and you're just gonna quickly flip it over and slip in first the front three stretchers and then the back three stretchers. Sometimes it takes a little bit of work. Um, you just have to get them to line up. Uh, it helps to have one person lining up the stretchers and the other person putting a little bit of pressure um, so that they don't pop back out. Um, but then once you have them all in and you also have your back slat in, which feel free to just bend. It's pretty flexible wood. So you can just bend it into place. So once all those are in, you have your tenons in each of the 12 holes um, and you have your back slat in place in its channel along both sides. You're just gonna take your mallet or hammer or whatever you're using um, and you're gonna just give it a quick tap on the end of each tenon just to make sure that we're fully in and that we're touching um, the little disc of wood that is inside the holes. All right, so it's now time to put in your screws. Um, this is pretty easy. You don't want to tighten them too much. They pass 
pretty easily through the first hole, um, but then they should be quite snug inside the hole that's inside the end of the stretcher. Um, so you're just gonna pop these in one at a time. Um, and what I recommend doing is holding the stretcher like this and kind of pulling it towards yourself. Um, that'll give you just something to screw against. Um, and then once you're ready, just go for it. So the next thing you're going to do is apply a little bit of glue to the back side of your caps. Um, these caps have a finished side um, and a matte side. Um, and so you're just, you just want to use the matte side for the glue. Um, and then just flip that over and pop that over the screw head, just like that. So the final step is uh, putting on the seat of your chair. By now you should have the frame fully assembled, the screws in the ends of all of these things with a little bit of glue in there, um, and your back, back slot should be attached. So you'll notice that there's two holes on either side of the stretchers that run down the side of the chair on the top. This seat just goes drops straight down, um, and it should more or less fit in place. Um, and then all you need to do is take your screws that we have, the four screws that are a little bit smaller than the screws that we use for the stretchers, um, and you're just going to drive them up through these holes here. <clears throat> now it helps to just kind of push the, the, the fabric or the, the leather in the, in the case of the stools off to the side. Um, and then you're just gonna go slowly. Um, this is not, they're, they're free floating through the stretcher, so they're not trying to pull down there at all. Um, they're just slowly kind of pulling down on the seat itself. So you should see it just kind of suck the seat in. And then as soon as the fabric pinches between the wood here and this beam, you're good, you can stop, uh, stop tightening. So uh, assuming that you've done everything in this video, you should have a chair ready to use, ready to be sat on and enjoyed um, by your patrons that are undoubtedly not as cute as this French bulldog. But yeah, thanks for watching guys.